is it socially acceptable to have a million figurines up on display? Probably not, but it's something that we enjoy, whether it's gaming, whether it's collecting things. And as long as it looks great and it makes us happy, why not? Hi, welcome! Hey, are you ready for game? got the house, we were really, really excited, obviously, because it's finally a space we can call our own. So we wanted to design something that really reflected who we are as people and really serves our purpose in terms of how we live and how we want to use a space. This is the entryway of the house. This is the first thing you see when you enter. And this is actually also the entrance to our bomb shelter. All the gold fillings are actually hand-painted. And this chevron design is actually repeated throughout the house. We enjoy this open space a lot because it has enough space for us to do the prep work and I love the induction hop because the cleanup is so much simpler. We chose a wooden texture for the backsplash panel but this is actually fiberglass so this makes cleaning so much easier and when clean up is easy it makes you want to cook a lot more as well. So we also have a tiny little bar area for me to put my wine, my whiskies, and so when I have friends over, it's very easy to pour them drinks as well. The kitchen is actually pretty open in terms of concept. The original wall was here. We hacked the entire thing so the kitchen actually looks out into the living room now. We like to have friends over, we like to host. So I think having the house in a very, very open concept makes it such that I can pretty much be doing anything while my friends are here and it doesn't feel like I'm not keeping them entertained. My friends, they are quite comfortable with our place. They know how to entertain themselves here. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually chose that dog bit because it matches our couch. So these are all my favourite characters from my favourite video games and we chose the space to make sure you know the lighting hits right, the figurines are nicely displayed and this is my geek area and I can show it off to anybody that comes to my house. And over here we do have collectibles and merchandise we've collected from our travels, uh, Japan especially, in relation to the games that we play. Now let me bring you to our geek den. So this is our gaming room. Um, we have two different sections over here. This is my section obviously because it's entirely pink and this is Clem. And we actually also have a nice little display area where we can you know, put all our collections, our manga, our figurines and our ever-growing soft toy collection there as well. So we wanted the backlight to kind of bring out the entire space. It's a nice cosy area because um, we also made sure that we had um, blackout blinds as well. So if we wanted an entirely dark room, it would be quite nice. Okay. Let's play one round! We went with this nice, bold, jewel green colour because I really, really like the colour, especially when it's accented with gold. And as you see, we continued this whole chevron concept. After long days of work, obviously we needed a place to relax and bedroom is the place to relax. We've tried to maximise the space after knocking down one of the rooms so that we can fit a massage chair. Is it socially acceptable to have a million figurines up on display? Probably not, 
But it's something that we enjoy, whether it's gaming, whether it's collecting things. And as long as it looks great and it makes us happy, why not?